local file inclusion attack on web application. So in this video, what we are going to learn here, we are going to learn about what is local file inclusion attack. And then I will show you an example at how you can perform inclusion attack. So uh, to perform this kind of attack, we need to use Kali Linux and inside Kali Linux, we need to again uh, use the multi buggy web application, right? And the burp suite tool available in Kali Linux. So without any delay, uh, open Kali Linux operating system and uh, open multi inside it. So here guys, uh, we are at Kali Linux operating system and uh, in browser i have opened the multi day right and uh, we are at the home page so first of all you need to check your proxy settings right change your proxy settings advanced network settings and it was manual before right so change it to use system proxy settings if you are getting any problem and then you can open multi day again all right now uh, you can select 2017 OWASP, come down to broken access control, insecure direct object reference, and here is local file inclusion. Click on text file viewer. Right, so this is the area of local file inclusion inside Matilide. You can click on hints and videos, and uh, you can learn about uh, various kind of file inclusion. Let me click on local file inclusion. What is local file inclusion? So local file inclusion allows an attacker to include the local to the web server, possibly allowing code execution denial of service data disclosure. Data as a disclosure is really important. Local file file inclusion is basically locally uh, how you can gather information about web services and their files, their codes, their sensitive data, right? So that is basically called local file inclusion. You are doing it locally, not remotely, right? Okay. For example, click on again. Yeah. For example, these are the pages available in the website or server. For example, if I click on second one, an overview of ATMs and information, and click on view file. So it provides me information like this on this page. Can I gather information about sensitive files like index.php or home.php by using this technique? Actually, yes, we can do. For that, we need to take help of Burp Suite inside it, right? So what I will do is basically I will capture a request from here from browser to Burp Suite and then I can change the request accordingly. So let me do one thing. Click here. Again you need to change the proxy settings make it manual. Click advanced settings. Click manual proxy settings right. This is the IP address. This is the port number should be there. Tick on that. Remove everything from here. Click OK. All right the proxy is set minimize it and again you can open the burp suite web application analysis click burp suite okay now i will show you that how you can get a uh, look at the sensitive files inside the web server just you need to capture a request from browser close next start burp it's very easy but you need to take a look just once okay now uh, check the proxy intercept should be on and uh, in the proxy you can check the options this is this should be the this is the same scenario in the browser right so okay all right minimize it and uh, now what we need to do here just you need to click again on this view file button Right, so that it, it will create a request and Burp Suite will capture it. So click on view file again. Obviously it will not run because proxy is there in the browser. But I hope that Burp Suite will get a request here. Yeah, here it is. So you can see here that we got the request. Right, this is the text file. If I, when I clicked on that, it created this request. Okay. So now what is next? Next is basically uh, I need to change it, right? And forward it. So if you want, then you can remove here, edit it before end. For example, if I want to check the page index.php, right? Index.php and the rest of the code. 
now uh, if when you have changed so there is a forward button right so you can click on forward button right so the request has been forwarded so let me check in the browser that what I got so here you can see that I got the information about index.php because that request has been forwarded to the browser and now browser is showing me some sensitive information about index.php so this is index.php this is a sensitive information but I got it using burp suite right burp suite has intercepted a request we change the request and send again to the browser and now you can see that index.php is showing me here great right so uh, this is a simple example of local file inclusion that how you can gather information about uh, some local files all right this was the request if you want you can send this request to sequencer or repeater let me try repeater right click here send it to repeater so it is inside the repeater right and uh, now you can change the file name here let me change it you don't need to go again and again in the browser in this case because it is a repeater index.php you can click on go and here you can see all the information about index.php is available here got it this is the render page in which uh, you will get the website here so the same thing will be here you can see index.php again if you for example if i if you want to check home.php so you can again edit it and type home.php click on go click on render and it will show you information about home.php so here you can see that home.php information is available here got it so i don't need to go to the web browser again and again to check you can use the repeater because it it automatically divides into two parts here is the website part here is the code part so you can change it and check the code of sensitive files here this is called local file inclusion get in information of web server sensitive files locally and that we have done using burp suite free edition i hope you have learned that how actually burp suite works if we talk about the section summary then in this section first of all we have learned about shell upload attack then we have learned how you can perform buffer overflow attack then brute force attack using burp suite and then again local file inclusion attack using burp suite successfully so this is all about the section and in the next section we are going to learn about android pen testing lab setup and overview thank you so much